So the first thing that you could see, if you look across, um, I shouldn't need any timbers on the opposite side, depending on how close I want to get it for the span. So I mean, this is the only side I should need timbers on, and we should still be able to get it underneath this. Hey guys, Capper here. It's uh, March 26th. Oh yeah. I kind of wrecked Mrs. Capper's bench there the other day when I was working on this pond project. I had had those uh, railroad ties or the timbers and I didn't see that and crunched it. See how narrow this trail is. See how far I can get them out there. Anyways, it's 76 is supposed to be the high today. So absolutely, finally, some beautiful weather. I'm going to take some measurements on this... Uh, bridge thing I got going on so I can cut some metal and tie all four of those timbers together and start on the uh, the dead man. I'm either going to do one or two, I'm not sure, but thanks to all you guys for all your comments and ideas because uh, I do use a lot of them. Like I said, I'm not an excavator, but I enjoy challenges and having some fun. So let's see what we can get into today. So my current plan is, first of all, I'm going to bolt all these four together. And then since it's right on the edge of the water, which I thought I was a bit higher than that. I mean, the water is, the water is higher than full right now with all the rain. So it's only going to go down from here. But I'm going, to, I'm going to bolt them all together. Then I'm going to lift this thing up. And, of course, I'm going to keep these uh, T-posts in place. I might sink some more steel ones temporarily. I'm going to lift it up, get some gravel underneath it, make a gravel pad around here, set it back down, and then reset it, and then make a dead man or two back this way. But that's kind of the plan for now. Let's get it bolted together. That's the next step, and we'll see how it goes after that. All right, I'm going to make my first cut here with the new saw. Um, but this is looks like 3-inch angle iron. It's scrap from my big scrap pile here. And this is going to be for the bridge project to tie all those uh, railroad ties together. I'm going to use two of these to start with. And I'm going to lag them all together and see how that goes. But let's Second cut. That was quick. Eight holes, lickety split. <clears throat> that thing is very sweet. Dang it, man, I got a freaking mouse in here. Sometimes I park these machines outside for a couple days, but it don't matter where I park them, but I just saw the little sucker run under there. I just, I just hate. Especially then look at that and there's one of the mouse packs And I just brought one of them for a 
for the skid steer and it don't matter hopefully he took off out of here because i don't want him running out on me damn i hate them creatures something serious man Whew. okay them rags are gonna go hate mice i know they feed everything else but i still hate them that's it's not going to be cool if that thing runs out on my arm or something well i'm guess i'm done for today with the bridge project i got all kinds of lag bolts but i don't have the right size i probably need a you know a little bit heavier shaft maybe three inch four inch bolts but everything's either too big or too small too long or too short all right, I knew I saw some somewhere. I borrowed Mrs. Capper's DeWalt bag. And there's four of them here, good size ones. And I could at least tack them in and get them into place. I knew I saw some somewhere, although I'm surprised I have about every other size except for what I need. Let's see if I can reach this uh, that branch down there. got three out of the four my batteries quit because these are really heavy lags so I did uh, I offset them there and then I was gonna do the top and the bottom here and the bottom I got snug but the top one is dead in the water for now 
All right, when the power tools fail, you go back to old school. Got a half inch socket. It's actually a three quarter inch uh, bolt or a lag, but a half inch socket and a lever. Hopefully we don't break it. All right now I got four of the big lags down. Oh, I just wish I had a couple inches higher. I wouldn't have to mess with it. I mean, I could leave it, but I, I just didn't want the uh, creosote logs in the water. Now, these are old, old logs. So, I mean, my theory... Come on, hang on. Can't even walk. My theory is that a lot of the creosote has soaked out of them. Because you can see down here, you're, you don't see any any kind of oil oozing off of the log. But, and I know it's firm ground there because that's virgin clay under there. And you can see the fence post tops, it hasn't sunk at all. But, for the longevity of it, I'd like to get a layer of rock underneath it and get it just above this water. So that really kind of stinks. But once I get it all bolted together, I'll be able to lift this with the excavator and probably hand shovel a bunch of rock underneath it and kind of go from there. So that's where it's at at the moment. Pretty much done for today.